Morning guys, how you doing today? Bruno here from uh, Guitar Rat. Just having my coffee, getting ready to do, do another video for you. Mm -mm -mm. Like my bright yellow shirt. Everyone keeps making fun of me. At least I won't be run over. Anyways, I'm just... Uh, last video there, we're just starting to... I was talking about doing this build with this thin line telly. So this will be video number two, again, so that my kid knows what order to uh, upload these in. So I went ahead, I did a few things, so I'm not having videos that are going on for 20 minutes, because it's, it's just too long. Uh, so basically... Uh, I had a look at this, notice that this it's a good quality uh, pick guard, it's real nice, but it's it's not real accurate here, it doesn't follow the the edge of the guitar real well right here, like the, you can even see that it's, you know, when this was cut, it's, it's not very, it's not a real smooth curve, and you can't really change it, because the screw holes are already made for it, so that kind of sucks, so I can't really do anything about that. Uh, I mean the pick card looks real nice and everything, but it's the only kind of thing I noticed with it. Um, and then I went ahead, I just kind of mounted the, well first I got the neck set in place, made sure it was straight, and then I got the, the bridge sort of mounted there with a couple screws, and uh, I got my sort of pattern I want to have, you know, so I can cut out the headstock and so I'm going to be doing that today uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna point the, the video down the camera here so you don't have to see my ugliness all right guys okay so anyways I got the neck like you see the neck is on here now it seems to fit pretty good in the pocket. So when you put the neck in place, just make sure it's nice and nice and snug on the inside here. The other thing you want to do <coughs> when you're going to set the bridge, okay, you want to take a straight edge. This is all you need, just like a yardstick or whatever. This one's metal, so it's unless you actually drop it or run over it, it's always going to be straight. So all you do is you just kind of sit this along the neck here. Damn mosquitoes. Uh, so you just set this along the neck. And then what you do on the body is just make a line. Now the, the bridge is there so I can't set it down on the body. But before the bridge was in place, then you just make your make a line here. Right? Do, do the same on this side. Make a little line there with a pencil. I've got tape on here so that I'm not making a bunch of marks in case you make a mistake on the on the body okay so that's all you need to do just make your line on each side and then you can basically center your center your bridge now this is 25 and a half scale length so basically what I did is I had the you know the saddles there screwed out to about oh probably about three sixteenths of an inch of thread like you could actually see where the screw went on the inside here I'll show you here okay so yeah I don't know if this is gonna work here but anyways the screw goes through here through the saddle okay and you can see the screw on the inside here it's actually recessed back a bit so probably about three sixteenths of an inch just before it starts protruding through the hole on the inside okay and that should give you enough adjustment there after you get the screw down then you can then basically what I did is I, so okay, so you have your saddle here, uh, make sure you've got, like I said, you've got your screw here, okay, there's a spring in there, but we don't need that right now, okay, there'll be a screw going through here, right, like that, through the saddle, alright, so just pretend it's like this, alright, and then it basically comes out like that, and then you want to measure from the nut, right on the inside here up to the edge or the front edge of your saddle here okay so it'll be 25 and a half right to there 
But like I say, your screw's going inside about 3 sixteenths of an inch or so, somewhere in there. It doesn't have to be all that precise. Because then you're going to need all this adjustment, because this is going to get sucked back here. This will probably end up about here when it's done. It'll get sucked back quite a bit uh, on the low E string. So, you need that adjustment, okay? So that's what you need to do for that. And uh, I still got a couple holes to drill here on the saddle. I've got a real small drill bit, right? I don't even know what size that is. It's really small. Uh, it looks like maybe like a 16th or something like that, maybe a little bigger. Uh, and that's all you need. Make sure you drill square. And I usually do one screw at a time, uh, just to make sure that nothing moves as you're doing the other holes or whatever. I was thinking of doing a string through. Uh, I did I did buy these little ferrules for it, but I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do that or not. It just creates a lot of more work. So I'm not sure if I do. I'll show you guys how to do that. Because I've got two other builds here that showed up. I wanna. I want to be able to get going on those two, so keep this one a little bit more simple, I guess. So, um, what you can do too is once you have the, uh, you know, like double check your bridge once you have the, like see if I go through the center of this straight edge all the way down here. It lines up bang on the money here. Yeah, right down in the center of the middle screw here. So I know I know this this saddle is is uh, or the bridge is is in the right place, like side to side. So the other thing I noticed, is I had the pickups and everything sitting in here. So see, like th this pick guard, you can't get don't line things up to the pick guard because this thing is not true. Okay, <laughs> don't use this as your alignment uh, tool. Because you're going to end up drilling holes that you're going to have to fill. So basically, as you can see, uh, this one's going to line up. I'll show you here. This one's going to be right about here. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see this. Okay, but see how much gap there is here? Now look, and then it gets tighter up top here. This is not supposed to be like that, but I can't, I can't change it, unfortunately. So it'll have to stay like that. That's just the way it is. Alright. But anyway, so that's done. And this is the hardest part about this, is making sure that you got this bridge where it needs to be. And then after that, you're okay. And make sure the neck is on straight too. Right. But, you know, even if it was a little off, once you got it screwed down, I mean, that's why you want to square this, uh, square the bridge to the neck. So that way it's true, okay? I mean, uh, you know, I'm going to have a little sanding to do, you know, right in here to, you know, flush this off in here. Show you here. You can see here, I don't know how good, but you can see it's not quite smooth here. And they're all, most good, you know, you're all going to have to do some work in here. They're all like that. But see here, it's nice. Here it's nice, right? There's a tiny tiny gap right here but once you get uh, you know I'm gonna have a little finish this will round out the corner a bit and stuff like that and then there is I noticed a tiny little divot right here looks like they took too much out or whatever machine they were using to kind of I'm gonna have to sand this all down here to get down to because I can feel like a you know, it's about this wide here, about three inches long, there's a divot in here. So I'll have to fix that, and you can see this is square, you want to make sure this is nice and square here. Okay, you don't want to crook it, otherwise it's going to look, not going to look too good. And other than that, uh, that's about it. This one here, the, uh, the binding looks like it's uh, glued on pretty well. I don't have to do anything there. And then when I sand this, I'm going to sand these see on the F holes here this the, the it's really sharp right here I'm gonna round these out of here just so nothing catches on here because this is this is easy to catch somebody has their sleeve or whatever it's gonna grab here and you end up damaging this probably so I'm just gonna round these out so they're smooth so nothing catches on them and 
that's it for that. So now I'm gonna, I'm just going to uh, cut out the neck or cut the headstock. And uh, like my last video, all I use is a. Uh, I'll show you guys here. Just a little saw, a little scroll saw by hand. See, that's all it is. It's got a really thin blade so you can maneuver the blade and curve it and stuff the way you want to. It's kind of nice. So usually I do it on the vise, but it's way over there. So I might see if I can clamp it to this table. I'm going to take the neck off and then I'm going to see if I can just clamp it to the table and just kind of show you how I cut it out. So I'm just going to stop the video for now and then I'll set that up and I'll be back.